Hi, and welcome to RetroEric. If you have an old computer with a CGA output and uh, you don't have a monitor, this is uh, maybe the cheapest and easiest way to connect a CGA uh, computer to a VGA capable monitor. This is uh, how I did it. This is um, a 9 pins CGA. It goes into the CGA card of the computer. And in the other end, it is a DB15. Nothing else. Uh, the rest is just a VGA cable. So what this uh, 9 pins or DB9 to DB15 cable does, it just uh, uh, sends the R, G and B signals straight through to the correct pin on the DB15 side. And the same with the horizontal and vertical sync. And uh, as you may have guessed already, uh, if you do that, RGB and horizontal and vertical sync directly to a VGA uh, monitor, uh, it will show you eight colors correctly, but not all 16 CGA colors. That is because there is a intensity signal also on the CGA graphics card, uh, but the CDA does, no, the VGA does not understand the intensity signal. If you want a solution for all 16 colors, you can check out uh, another video I made about this. But uh, to summarize, the cheapest way uh, is just to buy. You probably find them easy on the internet or Amazon, Google, uh, AliExpress, eBay, whatever. Uh, I can't remember where I bought this cable, um, but as I mentioned, it's just straight through RGB and horizontal and vertical sync straight through from DB9 to DB15. One important thing, uh, the monitor has to be uh, capable of viewing 15 kilohertz VGA signals. If you have a monitor that you're already using for your Amiga, maybe you have a Amiga cable uh, from RGB uh, to VGA, if that cable works on your monitor, it will also work on this um, with this setup. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please subscribe to my channel.